Well, I'm now joined by GB News North West reporter Bradley Harris, who's in Lee in Greater Manchester. Bradley has been testing the temperature of voters in Lee. Hi, Bradley. Hi, Gloria. Yeah, I'm in the ex-mining town of Lee, currently in Lee Market at the moment. As you say, testing that temperature on what the people here think. Of course, there's over 40,000 people that live in this town, and it was back in 2019 where some voters did the unthinkable and voted for the Conservative Party, some of which for the very first time. This is a Labour red wall seat, historically changed when James Grundy took the seat in 2019. Once a seat held by the current mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham. Of course, for many people, they voted for the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, and the Conservative Party because Boris Johnson was a bit different, some people tell me, to other politicians. He was a breath of fresh air. Uh, some people saw the party as the only way out of the European Union. But it's more than just Brexit. People here see a very deep divide, not just with the North and South, but with the funding that they see coming from Westminster. Boris Johnson, as you say, Gloria, is on a trip of the North West later this week. People want to see levelling up really uh, being concrete here in the north. They want to see money being pumped into places like Lee Market here. Some stallholders tell me and their customers that they'd like to see improvements just with the market itself, let alone the high street and other areas of the town that they feel have been neglected. But I've been hitting the high streets myself to find out what people think. Let's just hear some of their thoughts now. I, I voted Conservative last time. Um, basically, to get us out of the EU and it's focusing on the future rather than playing games and focusing on the past and that's where I like voting. I will probably go with Labour because of the Conservatives just about from 2020's Christmas party that was illegal and of course the thing is but with Boris Johnson and saying for that already the right man I do not at all like the guy I dislike him and, and of course I'm right because at this moment I think he should resign so I've always voted Labour I mean I just hope that Labour does win this time round I've always voted Labour before but last time I voted for Boris because I thought he'd do what he said he would and get us out of the EU which is what I voted for him for which he did and also I, I, I think it's alright I know a lot of people say he's daft and a bit, but I think he does what he said he will do. So, yeah, I'd vote for Boris again. Yeah. Would you vote for, you know, Boris Johnson again, the Conservative no. Party? No, no why is that? Not. Boris needs sacking. <laughs> yeah, he had a party at Downing Street and, like, we was all in our house and no family was away. We weren't allowed to party, so what, what's different for him? Yeah. What about Keir Starmer? Who the heck's that? Um, yeah, I would back Boris for the simple reason we've not had any clear, real... Uh, ideas from Labour Party since before Jeremy Corbyn, except for, oh, well, we'll bring you back into the, into the European Union. So, uh, and, yeah, I know about Partygate and all the rest of it, but we're looking at a cost of living now. Potentially people dying in the homes of cold, can't afford the heating bills. We've got more important things to deal with. And as we've already got a settled government in place, it's better just stick with it because you can't know where the good that he has done. He got us out of Europe. Again, with the vaccines, we know we have the best, arguably, in the world. Uh, so, yeah, uh -huh. I, would, I would back Boris again. If you could describe Boris Johnson in one word, what would it be? Uh, libertarian. That's just a snapshot of what some people here in Lee think. And, Gloria, it's interesting, isn't it, because the pandemic has really exposed the government in more ways than one, particularly over the last few months but for some people here they tell me that anybody in Boris Johnson's seat would have had a difficult time of it and actually as Boris is saying they want him to get on with the job and actually carry on with his levelling up agenda. Others though as you heard from some of the people there that I've been speaking to that's it they're not voting again uh, it's a waste of a vote they're not going to be backing the Conservative Party. It'll be interesting to see uh, what would happen if people could vote today. 
who they'd be voting for. But Boris Johnson himself, as I say, is going to be in the North West later this week. And he'll certainly be wanting to win back some of the voters that have lost the confidence that they had back in 2019. Bradley, thanks so much for that. Really interesting to hear those voices from Lee. Thank you.